This video will serve as a tutorial for dial calipers and becoming familiar with some of the very uh, common features that are noted in all dial calipers. And here we're going to use just a little bit of some um, terminology that's very exclusive to these devices. And later on in other videos we'll look at how to measure, how to calibrate, and then also looking at applying the different components of measurement to Activity 3.3, making linear measurements. So, as far as anatomy of the dial caliper, a few terms here that you'll need to know. As far as this, this is an inch dial caliper. So, your inch dial caliper, so we'll, we'll measure slightly more than six inches. So, if you look here on the blade, so the blade holds a lot of the major measurements. You'll see it goes out to six and opens up a little bit slightly more than six as if you were needed to go out that far. But this device is a very... Um, very precise measuring tool used by engineers and manufacturers to be able to make measurements on parts, to, to use um, measurements in order to create parts, but a lot of times as well they'll use a dial caliper for inspection and quality control. So in this scenario for the dial caliper that, that we have here, so the caliper ends up having two main parts that we'll look at. We have the slider, so the slider is the part that will slide back and forth along the blade. So the blade is the portion that's immovable. So one thing that we'll have is that when you're ready to start opening up, so you'll have a lock knob up here on top. So if you turn it to the right, it will tighten and it will keep the slider from moving. If you loosen it by turning to the left, so if you do turn it to the left too far or if you have students that will do it, so that'll just come out and you can put that back in. So it's not a big, um, not a big issue. But as you're using the caliper, so if I loosen this, I'll use the scroll wheel. So use my thumb, and then I'll go ahead and roll the slider. So along it, so that's usually the preferred method I show my students, uh, rather than moving the whole slider. So in a very uh, kind of jerky or, um, you know, kind of rough fashion. So as I open this up, so you're going to see your dial is going to start moving within, within inside of the, the face. And the one thing you're going to end up noticing is that here along the blade, these are the larger measurements. So here we start at zero when it's closed down. And then you'll see you have some smaller numbers in here, one, two, three. So each with a line past it. So the line will help us with making some of the measurements, which we'll talk, talk about later. So you have an internal gear rack inside of here that's allowing for inside of the slider some internal gear. So as you turn this, you're you turn, taking rotary motion and transferring it into linear motion. So as you're scrolling this. So you have, as far as some of the other uh, anatomy here, so your lock knob. This is called the dial lock, which is something we'll uh, discover a little bit further in a uh, later video. But here you have the outside measuring faces. So outside measuring faces can be used to, I'll use my model here, to measure the outside or out, outside diameter, outside thickness of different parts. You have the inside measuring faces up here on top. So the inside measuring faces are typically used to measure like the insides of different components. Like for here I have a hole, so I can put that into the hole, open it up till the edges touch the inside of the hole, and then that would end up being done there. You could also use it for the slot, so on the top of this. So be able to open this up and measure onto the outside edges. Okay, the other ones here is you have a step distance. So I'm going to turn this caliper around. You're actually going to see if I take your finger, so on the back edge here, and you'll actually run into a little bit of an edge. So that's right there that's for the step. So here, if I wanted to measure how much of a step that this had, I'd put the one face down. I could go ahead and slide it down until, so um, I could go ahead and slide this until touches the top edge, and you'll see those outside measuring faces will be open, and I'll be able to take a reading. The last one that I'll have here is as I open up the caliper, the slider, you'll end up getting the uh, this portion so that comes out, and then it's going to be used for a, for a depth measurement. So I can put this inside the slot, and then I can close this caliper down until the reference edge will, will end up touching. So the edge of the caliper, and then as I take a look, I'm able to go through and get a get an accurate reading from the measurement. So as far as this goes, this video concludes kind of some of the some of the basic anatomy, and in the next video we'll take a look at calibration and how to get an accurate measurement.